Hi there, and welcome back. It's really good to be here. You know, this time we're going to be talking about outlining and storyboarding. That's right. These are the things that we notice a lot of our students tend to resist a little bit. Yeah, people just want to move past it, but we're going to tell you why it's useful. That's Here, right. We're going to start with outlines. Go so, ahead, Skeeter. So basically, an outline is a point form list of the main points you're going to give in the lesson. It's so much better to show up on the day of your shoot with you know, a few main points for every lesson you're going to be doing instead of a whole bunch of paragraphs. Yeah. Easier, to, easier to improv, easier to make ideas flow. That's right. It allows you to be in the moment and just communicate authentically to your students on the camera. Perfect. That's right. That's good. So that's going to be part of your assignment at the end of this thing to do your outline. Yep. So once you have your outline, you're going to work on your storyboard. What is a storyboard, people? You might be asking. Are I'm asking, asking it. I forget all the time. All right. A storyboard is a board of story, obviously. So what you're going to do is you're going to take that outline and you're going to draw out exactly what's happening in your video. So hold on, I'm going to show you this screen that we got here. Wow. Okay, so what we're going to show you is basically how we storyboarded this scene. So here we go. We got number one shot. This is when the boys are walking up to Camp Medius, right? Yeah. Okay, number two, this is when the boys are talking to me and Skeeter. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and number three... This is where uh, we start talking, right? Yep. We kind of took over the show. And do you want to see something cool? This is where we did these different shots, right? First, we did a long shot. That's just me and him, like from a far distance. You see it there? Yep. And then we did a medium shot right there. That's like a little bit closer. And then we did a close-up. Yes, right. Right there. Okay. And, you know, the magic of these storyboards is you get to... Create it before you have to commit to creating it, right? So you get to try it out before you buy it out, if you know what I mean. So, like, I could do anything with this. Like, I made one storyboard where I made Skeeter throw up. Watch this. Hey, just joking. No, no. no. It works. No, it doesn't just work. Just do it. I can't. Do no. Don't do this again. I have to. You're supposed to do it. I can't do it in front of these people. All right. He's bulimic, but whatever. And you know, one time Duber said something that really changed my life when it comes to the storyboards, and it was the KISS rule. Keep it simple, Skeeter. And it helped me a lot because I was like, Duber, I can't draw. Mm -hmm. I don't even know how to draw a stick figure. But he was like, stick figures are beyond enough. Well, what I said is that if it's clear, it's right. So if your drawings are clear, as to what is happening in your shot, then it's correct. Don't worry about making it perfect, because as you know, great is the enemy of good, right? They know that. I think they should. All right, so cool. Your, your job today, why don't you tell them what they're gonna do? Your job is first to take one of your lessons from your e-course that you've already planned out, and you're gonna break it down into an outline. The main points are stories that you're gonna share in just individual point form notes so that you can just see those on a piece of paper and know exactly what to do on the shooting day. And then you're gonna go do a storyboard for that lesson. Now we know that a lot of you might only have one camera shot for your videos where it's just a camera sitting there and you're talking to the camera. You still need to draw it. You got to think about the things. What's in the background? Do you got some flowers on a table beside you? Is there a picture behind you? Do you have an altar? Hold up, Skeeter. Yep. One thing I want to say is that it's essentially your map. Yep. So when you're going on this adventure through making videos, you got to have a map to know where you're going. Yeah, right. It's going to be really handy if you come to work with a team later on down the road so that when you're telling them your idea, you'd be like, here's all my storyboards and outlines of what we're actually going to do so yeah. they can give you a really accurate quote yeah. of how much the work's going to cost or how much time it's going to take. Yeah, I They'll be impressed that you did this. It's true. And you'll understand what you're going to do. Yep. That's it. It takes away a lot of the stress because if you don't do this, you show up on video day and you're kind of in panic mode because you're, you're not 100% rock solid in your vision. Well, also, when you've done this in advance, you can be creative with what you're doing. You don't need to be reinventing the wheel at the time of shooting, which you should not be doing anyway, if that, you know what I mean. That's right. And so keep it simple and have fun with it. Just draw some stick figures yeah. and put in the, the pieces and some little notes with each picture, like how it was, the boys walking up, yeah. us there, just really short notes with each camera. But you know what? Deal. I'll tell you what, Squeeter. What, that's your name, right? 
uh, we're going to put below this video, we're going to show you some examples of some great storyboards just to get you inspired and to show you how it's done. And yeah. then you can do it in your journal. That's right. So go do your first one and come on over and share your outline and your storyboard around the campfire. All right. That sounds good. I think you guys are going to do a great job. I can't wait to see what you do. I'm really excited too. So go have some fun now. All right.